what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to some more of the walking dead to today we're going to be doing season five episode six um hopefully we can i can do two episodes i'm aiming to do a double upload today but we will see won't we anyways we're gonna see the aftermath of what happened after abraham knocked eugene out for lying to him um, somebody pointed this out in the comment section. I think the comment just came in just before I started to do this video. I saw the comment, um, basically saying that in some twisted way, the lie saved Abraham's life. And it's very, tr it's very true. You know, it's very true. The lie did save him from killing himself. We remember that scene. Um, it's ironic, but it's true, <laughs> you know, um, at the same time, you know, as I said, Eugene deserved to be knocked out, maybe not to the point where he fell on his face like that, because I mean, he, he just went face first in the asphalt. That's not cool, you know, but he really did deserve to get knocked out. Yes, he did. <laughs> but in any case, um, Abraham was kind of losing it. He was kind of losing it. I think he was getting frustrated with everything that was going on. And he didn't quite know how to make the decisions. And a lot of people also was kind of trying to tell me that it was um, his relationship with, I think it's, her name is Rosita. If I'm not mistaken, I think her name is Rosita that their relationship was um, was foreshadowed. And I, I must have missed it. I must have missed it because I was saying that there was no sign of this relationship. Um, so just kind of developed during that one episode, but I guess there was, you know, so my bad. I guess I missed something. I don't know. I don't know where I missed it because they said they were you know, I guess I just didn't read much into whatever was happening between them. But in any case, you know, because I mean, at one point he was also saying that um, old girl was looking down her shirt and stuff like that. So I didn't think, you know, I really didn't think what the hell. Hold on a second here, guys. Wow. Is this thing burning out? Wow, I need some new. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm sitting here and I'm looking at my PS4 controller. This is a weird. <laughs> it's a weird thing where I'm noticing is that like my my the control freaks on there is just like they're melting. <laughs> I think I've been playing way too much um, recently. But anyways, man, um, it's just crazy to think I didn't know that there was something between them but it's okay it's okay but anyways man we're gonna jump into these reactions of course man and see if we can get through two episodes if this episode is fire this episode six is fire then i might tack on an episode seven but anyways guys you already know what it is um i don't know man i might since due to the fact that i've i think i've found a way to upload my stuff to YouTube. But I still don't want to risk it though. That's the thing. I still don't want to risk it. But I will be testing it out. So you might see some of these episodes in highlights on YouTube. Full reactions will still be available. But I think I've found a way, man, to upload my stuff to YouTube with a little bit of you know, and, you know, having the stuff on YouTube will help to grow the channel. And that's why I'm trying to at least have highlights on YouTube. So who want to watch highlights and don't want to sit down for an hour watching the show with me can just watch the show on YouTube um, because I have the time to sit down and edit the videos. Now, see, before I didn't have the time to really sit down and do edits, you know what I'm saying? So I would have to work around that to actually do those headaches um, before when I just started out until I just I was like I can't do this because I don't have enough time to do it um, 
you know, um, when I was doing edits at night, man, I was going to bed at one, two o'clock in the morning to get back up at like to, to be up. I have to be up by five. So I wasn't getting enough sleep and all of that good stuff. But I'm but, you know, I have the time now because I can sleep in. I have I have I'm going to be home for at least until the end of this month, at least as far as I know right now, because where I have to go and um, do business, they it's still on lockdown. I can't I can't even leave my house, really, because they're advising people to still practice social distance, wash your hands, all that good stuff. Um, so we're still in this together, guys. So I'm going to try to do some crazy things and try to improve the channel also i'm also working on um new ways to do my thumbnails and stuff like that you know i have the time to sit down and do these things so i'm gonna do what i can do stuff that don't cost me money to do i'm going to try to do it okay so just bear with me if you see um one of you know a video comes up and it's on youtube and you know the just you know you understand what i'm trying to say but in any way man thank you guys so much and i will catch you guys for the review all right so let's finish watching those two episodes man and i already did my review only to find out the thing was feeding back the entire time. So I'm going to have to do it over. So here we go. And I did such a good review too. <laughs> but anyways, let's do this, man. Episode, um, what is it? Six and seven. Very good episodes. Got to see a lot going on. Um, you know, Sasha falling for a trick like that was... It's beyond me sometimes when I see characters act like that. You know, it's it's harder to tell. It's hard to tell. I mean, not harder. It's hard to tell sometimes where they're going with certain storylines. And I'm glad that, you know, a lot of it is very mysterious. I'm glad for that. Um, So we finally get to see um, who Daryl brought home, which... Well, not really home, but you get what I'm trying to say, which was Noah. They found Noah, him and Carol. Carol got taken, right? So these cops are real sketchy, man. They're sketchy. I don't know which one of them is good. I don't know which one of them is bad. Noah, I, I don't know if to think if he just did that because, you know what I'm saying, he was kidnapped. You know what I'm saying? They might have a protocol in place just in case they get kidnapped, what kind of story they should tell to kind of put themselves in a better position to escape or to put Don in a better position to rescue them. You don't know. You get what I'm saying? I think a lot of times people can be naive. And I think this is all because of what Tyree said to her. I think that's why she kind of trusted him to be like, hey, that's the reason why Tyrese had to take out Bob for her. And then she named Bob and then him come up saying that his name is Bob kind of triggered her, triggered her in a good way. You know what I'm saying? So she wanted to help him. Um, nothing wrong here on Sasha's side, more like being a little bit too trusting. He's still a prisoner. You can never let anyone who you have as a prisoner, you turn your back to them. You never know what they have planned. You got to be vigilant around somebody who you have, you know, taken or kidnapped or has as a prisoner or whatever the situation is. got to be vigilant. You never know what they up to. People are always trying to escape. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But in any case, man, um, this was a very good two episodes. Can't wait to see what they do for the next ones might do another double upload in, in the upcoming couple of days who knows um but it, but to see where these characters are coming from from um they're, they're very strong characters and the reason why i say this is because um i'm glad that rick came to the conclusion that he owes carol a lot more than just his life you get what i'm saying because he o she owes he owes all of them owe carol for saving them from, 
you know what I'm saying, from saving them from the, the, the cannibals, you know, um, so a debt is owed, the only thing they can do now is go save her, which I'm glad that Beth isn't kind of in there to kind of save her, because who knows if she doesn't stay on the mess, she might, you know what I'm saying, pop a blood vessel or something, because, you know what I'm saying, because they took her off the machine, that was kind of keeping her alive while she was kind of knocked out, you know what I'm saying, so, who knows, she might have internal bleeding, um, it, it's a possible possibility, she got knocked by a car, so there's a possibility, but the character growth that I'm talking about, that they do so well in this show, can't give them enough credit for that, you know what I'm saying, it's just amazing, the character arc from Rick going from you know, very mild personality, great leader to becoming a great leader of a, of a savage nature. Like, people got to be stopping him. People got to be saying, bruh, calm down. You know what I'm saying? Because at this point in time, all Rick sees is like, yo, you mess with my family, you are dead. You know what I'm saying? You mess with anybody in this clique, you are dead. Okay, so Daryl got to be that buffer to be like, you know what, let him be, let him be, you know what I'm saying, let them be sometimes, you know what I'm saying, but I know that if you piss Rick off, Rick is not going to hesitate to take you out, especially the fact that everybody's on board is like, yo, man, we all monsters at this point, it doesn't matter what you're doing, we all monsters, because at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? We gonna fight over resources. It's kind of got. It's kind of like what's happening right now. It may not be on a gun threat level, but what we're going through right now. I remember the days before the quarantine hit. The days before the quarantine hit, I couldn't even go to the supermarket and get anything. The lines were longer than I don't know what, and the fight was on. I saw people in there fighting over toilet paper. I mean, come on. You know what I'm saying? People fighting over the last toilet paper. I'm, I'm like, listen, man. I remember those days when I was in, when I had to be in the bushes wiping my ass with paper, man. Paper. Okay? Paper. Like printing paper. You know what I'm saying? You got to find something. I mean, if that's what you got in your book bag. You know what I'm saying? I remember those days, man. Wiping your ass with newspaper and, and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Um, sh um, relieving yourself in, in a latrine and stuff like, I don't know if you guys know anything about that life, but I remember when, when we used to go visit, when we used to go, when I used to go visit my grandma and grandpa, they live in a very, even con a very country area where they didn't have um, modern toilets, like what we use now, you know what I'm saying, indoors, they had a latrine outside, and if you wanted, and, you know what I'm saying, like, you would go visit your grandparents, because they want to see, sometimes, you know, your parents want to get you out, that get you out of the house, whatever the situation is, they send you to go stay with your grandparents, and we had to live that life, latrine, you go sit on the latrine, or, you hover over it however you want to do your thing. I remember the first time I tried to use the latrine. There were cockroaches in the damn thing climbing out of it um, with their whiskers touching my fucking leg. <laughs> that shit was not cool, <laughs> okay? You know what I mean? Bro, we out here, man. <laughs> and you don't understand, man, the life... I have lived, I have stories beyond stories that I could tell you guys, man. Um, you know what I mean? All of you, all of you new age people out there that ain't experienced nothing. You know what I mean? Um, but you want to have a, a voice, <laughs> you know? But anyways, man, um, this was a very, very character development is so good in the show. Daryl becoming a man as Carol described him. And her burning away those pieces of her that was weak. Her coming from um, the character from season one to being who she is now. Completely different. And that's why I've grown to love her so much in the show. Because, 
You know what I'm saying? Because she's become such a strong character. You know what I'm saying? She was out here like um, Sarah Connor from the Terminator. You know what I'm saying? Coming to rescue her family, man. That was pretty cool. So um, to see her down now and them going back to rescue her. I don't know how this is going to play out, but we'll see in the upcoming episodes, of course. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. Remember to like the video, man. And also comment. Let me know what you guys are thinking. Always, man. As I said before, I'm going to be trying to upload in these videos to YouTube. Maybe the next time around, I will try to do that and see how things go. See if YouTube picks it up. See if this method will work. If this method keeps working, I'm going to keep trying to do that uploading highlights to YouTube after the fact, okay? Um, at least for the next month. I'm not going to go back and try to upload those. Maybe later on, you know what I'm saying, I'll upload my Walking Dead um, reactions to YouTube after I edit them and stuff like that. Uh, maybe later on, but for now... I'm just going to just continue. So next batch of episodes, I'm going to try to upload those to YouTube with edits, of course, with highlights, and then we will move on because I need to, I think that's one of the ways that my channel grows. So I'm going to have to make a conscious effort. Not that I have to have the time to go back to certain series and re-upload them to YouTube and actually maybe even free up some, 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 um, some um space on the google drive you know what i'm saying by trying to upload the if i can use this method and upload full episodes to youtube i will do that you know what i'm saying um because i think it's a way around but we'll see we will see how things go but anyways thank you guys so much for reaching out as always subscribe if you're new and i will catch you guys later man terabyte out peace